Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video uh, or another episode of the Windows 10 builds, Windows 10 Mobile. But uh, now I decided to take the full weekend to test the build and then give my personal opinion about how the build was and how it's working. Uh, so I got, I tested it like Friday, Saturday, Sunday and a bit of today. So like three days and a half and the build actually w worked quite well. Um, only today it's like... I was switching between apps, so many apps, and the system just couldn't uh, ha handle anymore and restarted, restarted the phone. But it was only today because I was already uh, switching between too many apps and I let all the apps I use, I let them on the background. And how this phone has only one gigabyte of RAM it might be also that the problem. Uh, but the build is with the number 14946, the same build that got released for PCs. And this build works pretty well, I tested like I said for like almost 4 days and it works smooth. The bug for the streaming options that I mentioned it on the previous build that it was uh, fucked. Now it got fixed, let's go down with the volume. Now it got fixed, as you can see the, the, the streams already works. But one thing that I noticed is from this redstone builds from redstone 2 builds is that whenever I, s I choose oh there's 1080p okay i get it because i used i was uh, normally i play the streams on source but the source was on 720p so now i see that if i choose 10 1080p it will start to like freeze and this it was freezing uh, after this after these builds um, streaming it was freezing but I never I, you see here as well freeze for a few seconds and then goes back and I seen that only on auto it kind of works normally because on auto it reduces the quality and stuff like that but previously I could play the video the streams on source without any problems uh, because I have a 120 megabyte download internet so it's not the problem it's not the internet the problem uh, rather than all or the builds or the phone itself, but as you can see freezes uh, and I'm pretty sure on auto it will start to find a better Like a better resolution better uh, option for the phone itself and then to start Playing without any problems because I, I choose now always auto previously I was choosing always source now I go on auto, but now that I can see source has 1080p and um, and this phone doesn't have a 1080p resolution uh, so I guess if you choose now source for this stream it will be bad bad but most of the streams on Twitch they are 720p so it shouldn't be any problem but as you can see on auto it found the be best option and it's working perfectly then another bug that I found it's, I mean it's not a really big problem this bug but I mean it's there normally I I like to see which apps it gets updated on the store. This is the problem. If I go on settings and here is the option, update apps automatically when I'm on Wi-Fi. If I turn this off, let's close it. If I go back, the, the option turns on again. So this option doesn't work. If you turn it off, it will not work. I tried to turn it off, restart the phone and it was still on. If I try to, for example, let's put Streamline on only update tile when I'm on and this off. Let's uh, try to close it and open it again and you'll see it will go back to how it was. Uh, this this problem is from other builds as well. As, as you can see this went off as off as well. This was off actually but it stayed it remained on so as you can see this doesn't work this doesn't work uh, updating tiles when i'm on a wi-fi it works but i don't really want to update the tile closing the apps to update automatically it doesn't work so <clears throat> the apps update automatically so you, when, whenever you come to to check if you have any up updates uh, the updates will, will be already installed so that's the only like problem on this build the battery is more more or less the same the same as previously I don't really see any problem and this device actually almost never never gets hot with now one new feature I hope it's a feature but it will be a feature 
it's on the on the edge if you go in uh, settings where is the settings settings now you have here um, change my default but if I press on change my default it will get me to the settings but there is no like settings but I'm, there will come an option this is only the beginning to change your default browser so if you have another uh, browsers for example Opera or uh, Surfy or whatever there's so many browsers third party browser on the store on the store you'll be able to come here and change your default browser if they will continue with this option this is really cool because I mean there are people that like to use other browsers not only edge or if they seem like like edge is crashing or whatever doesn't open some websites so they will go use uh, other browsers that's fine because uh, like I, like I mentioned many times uh, me as a user I like to have always more and more options that's why I, I use uh, Windows phone I use also Android because uh, Android doesn't have some option that have has uh, Windows 10 and then uh, Windows 10 doesn't have some options that has Android and so on so, I mean you, you never can't be pleased 100% so that's why you kind of use both uh, but yeah this uh, Windows 10 640 XL is my main device and other than that the browser works the, the browser the build works pretty fine but now uh, another like minus that um, we got not from the build but from Facebook is now Facebook kind of they don't want to optimize the app, app for the for the Windows 10 mobile and Facebook application only works well if you install it on internal memory and even though if you install in internal memory you, you, you use it for like two three five minutes and then starts to crash and then you can have to open it again uh, and now they updated here as you can see memory it requires two gigabyte of RAM so that's kind of fucked up but most of the devices my device has only one gigabyte of RAM so I mean I still can use the application you can still install it but uh, it requires 2 gigabytes of memory but if you go here into the um, uh, Facebook beta the Facebook beta didn't get updated so the Facebook beta doesn't have this requirement so as you can see it has only architecture RAM required but doesn't have the 2 gigabytes uh, RAM required you see here OS and architecture let's go back and the official one OS architecture and memory kind of I don't have 2 gigabytes RAM but I mean that's the problem from Facebook that they don't want to optimize the application for Windows um, I mean it's not a, really a Windows problem but it's more like maybe in the future it will be devices problem because our devices has only one gigabyte of RAM but anyway I mean there is still no new features for the OS only that for the browser that I mentioned uh, the, other than that bug fixes the streaming fixes that I mentioned and this streaming fixes it was happening on some other type of videos so they kind of fixed that and now it works pretty fine other than that works uh, well but yeah this is the build I mean no new features but many bug fixes uh, pretty stable uh, I would say if you want to install the builds very fast then you can try this build uh, I, I don't find like any application that doesn't open everything opens everything works uh, perfectly only like Facebook like I mentioned yeah closes after a few time but that closes in every version of Windows 10 but yeah thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have found any other bugs and see you in the next time